I've stayed involved in one little piece of technology that we developed uniquely in Canada back in the late 80s that had never been done before. I stayed on its board up until uh, March when I just retired. Um, and that's a full ocean depth remotely operated vehicle. It had never been done. The oil industry did it, but they dropped it straight down below oil platforms. We wanted to develop one that you could drive around on the ocean floor. It'd have to be tethered initially, but we wanted to be able to collect samples, take movies, collect uh, water samples, heart samples, mud samples, whatever we wanted, and be able to do this for extended periods of time and know exactly where the vehicle is and be able to get it back up and get the samples back up. A group in Vancouver who built these sumps for the oil business said they would like to give it a try. There was a government program called the Unsolicited Proposal Program. It wasn't too unsolicited, I must say. We kind of got them to propose the idea. Um, the Department of Supply and Service put up a large amount of money together with NRCAN and Fisheries and Oceans. We built the very first water deep submergence vehicle with five kilometers possible water depth. We put it on a one of the very first ever fiber optic systems for its tether. Nobody had ever tried that before. Paid a million bucks for the five kilometer fiber optic cable, first one. Got it to work and I was the first guy who ever took it to sea and got it to the bottom of the ocean. Neat. And Dan near lost it the first day. <laughs> <laughs> and that was in 89? That was probably um, 80 Yes, yeah, so it'd probably be 88 or 89, but before we drilled, we drilled Middle Valley in 91, so it would have been 88, 89 when we got it down there. That vehicle has undergone many, many revisions, changes, upgrades, and it still operates today. Government didn't want to run it anymore, so a group of us bought it for a buck and put it into a not-for-profit corporation. We run it as the Canadian Scientific Submersible Facility out of Victoria, and uh, we have an excellent team of engineers who run it. We're the guys who recovered the data box from the Queen of the North Ferry when it sank. Okay. We also got the hard drive out of the computer. Huh? We went through the bridge window and got them out. That was pretty cool. We developed for that. Extended the arm, broke the window out, went in and undid the bolts, and, <laughs> and it's all done remotely with a tactile wow, yeah. hand. So it's, it's really cool technology. If you're ever out there, you want to